Okay, good morning. Um, day two. So I did my cardio this morning. I did 30 minutes on the elliptical and then did some just gentle stretching and stuff. And um, I'm just going to check in real quick and just let you know day two has begun. I'm doing some education, some house cleaning, and a little bit of work today. And for those of you who are like, I'm working a job. Like, how is she just working out in the mornings after she drops her kids off to school and stuff? I have taken um, a short hiatus off of work. Do I think you need to do that in order to improve your life? No. But for me, um, which I will get into at some point, it has been necessary and very helpful. And um, sorry, I keep bumping the camera. I'll stop touching it. <laughs> um, just something that's helped push me in the direction that I need to go. Um, just to take that time off to think and evaluate my choices. Because I can be on the treadmill in life. I guess we all can. And really just be pushing hard and be like, but where am I going? So um, I'll get into like what I do and everything at some point. But I love what I do. I love caring for other people. Um, but sometimes I'm not so good at the self-care part. So I am working on that and with an intention of taking care of those closest to me, including myself, and, and dedicating time as I would to a job to that and to actually allowing the gestational dreams inside of me to sort of um, start to grow and nurture them a little bit so that they can grow. But um, big thing for today, I guess, uh, and I don't think about these a lot before I turn the camera on, so it probably shows. I need to probably write it down. But I want everyone to think about who you are. What is your identity? And what do you base that on? It's one of the most critical questions, obviously. Plato, Socrates, all these people have, you know, who am I? What am I here for? It's kind of critical. Um, but we can sort of push through life without truly answering that or acting out of a place that doesn't align with what that really is. So if you are acting like who you are, it's who your neighbor sees you as or who the people at work see you as, but it's not really being true to thy own self, um, then you're going to eventually get off, off course. So I try to remind myself of that. There's a beautiful Lauren Daigle song, um, You Say, basically, who God says that we are is who we are. Everybody is going to have a different philosophy and different belief, but there is truth, and there is a concrete truth, and I feel like seekers of truth will find the answer to this without me telling you. So I would just encourage everybody to genuinely and sincerely seek the truth of who you are. Ask that question, seek it out, get really quiet, meditate, and um, yes, you can read in scripture the truth of who you are, but I believe God can literally speak it to your very soul when you're watching a sunset or when you're watching a, a flight of seagulls on the bay or sitting in the woods alone. Um, if you're quiet enough, you will hear the whisper. So um, listen for that today. And I'm just reminding myself that I'm not my biggest accomplishment. I am not my greatest mistake. I am not a combination of the plus and balance sheet of those things in my life. I am a child of God with a purpose and I will make mistakes. I have made terrible mistakes. The biggest mistakes I don't want to make that I'm trying to make my choices align with are the ones that hurt people. Um, I don't want to like choke up on this, but that makes relationships hard because we do hurt each other sometimes and we don't, even with our intent, is not to do that. So I don't want to hurt my children. I don't want to hurt those closest to me, but I don't want to hurt anyone. So I should have that same level of care towards not doing things that hurt myself. So um, be true today. Be honest. Be who you truly are. And if you're not sure who that is, take the time to figure that out and to... Be impeccably honest and just write it down as it comes to you, who you know that you are. And if you are living out of alignment with that, then make some adjustments. So um, the other thing is there's a lot of things that we use to identify ourselves based on socioeconomic class, based on our gender, based on our sexuality, based on our job choice. And um, I, I would make the argument that those things alone are part of who we are, but they're not who we are at our core. And so not allowing other people to put you in a box 
based on those choices. Like I um, am a doctor, but why am I a doctor? I became a doctor because I wanted to have a tool to help love people. So I don't actually wear the white coat cloak, <laughs> the white coat, white cloak, metaphorically very well because I've always been a little uncomfortable with what it says about me that I don't think is true because I don't like uh, parts of what come with that job. So just reminding myself that I was a person, I was a child, I was a girl with dreams in her heart before I was any of those things. So I don't have to become what other people think a doctor is just because I did the educational platform and have cared for people and have taken all the tests and done everything that checks all the boxes to become a doctor. So I think that um, me learning that about myself has been an interesting journey and other people might relate, they might not, they might be like, why wouldn't you wear that loud and proud? I think because there's other things about my life that if I have to be under the judgment of what you think is great about me, then I don't. I also have to like deal with the judgment of what you think is not great about me. And I don't want other people to define me. I want to define myself. So um, hopefully I'll be better at that at the end of this intentional transformational time. But that is where my heart is today. And I hope that I have reached some people or spoken a language that some people are like, I get that. That's where I'm at too. Like I'm not just an investment banker or I'm not just a mom or you know, whatever it is that people feel like puts them in a box of not being able to fully define who they are as they are. So, and FYI, being a mom is like the greatest privilege of my life and the greatest honor and all of my choices are really made in trying to be the best mom that I can. I think that one makes you, that's a little different than becoming some profession because you literally have to kind of sacrifice yourself and what you want is secondary once you bring another human into the world. But that doesn't mean you can't be a person. So there's that balance there too, which maybe we'll get into on future um, learning chats. So anyhow, have a great day. Be blessed and know that you are deeply and truly loved for exactly who you were created to be. All right.